hello, hello, hello. This is Manisha. I'm coming to you today from the comfort of my bed. It's the day after Thanksgiving, so I'm doing nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. I decided to do a YouTube channel called Opening Up with Manisha. And today I would like to share my first message with you. And it's titled Pretend. Before I get into the message, I'd like to share with you where pretend came from. Several years ago, my niece and I were coming from the store. She said, Auntie. I said, yes. She said, let's play a game. I said, a game? She said, yes, a game. I said, what game? She said, pretend. I said, pretend? Pretend what? She said, pretend you're the lady. I said, what lady? She said, the ugly lady. Okay. So, I said, okay. So, with that being said, I would just like to say the subject of pretend has been resonating in my heart for the past several weeks, and it's been deeply on my mind. So, I would like to share with you today my message on pretend. Many of us are walking around here today pretending, pretending on our jobs, Pretending in our relationships with family and friends, pretending with our spouses, pretending with our children. And if we ask ourselves, why are we pretending? Who are we putting on a show for? And what are we pretending for? And how are we benefiting from pretending? Just questions we need to ask in general. I would like to say that many of us we have jobs that we go to that we are not happy with and we need to make a change. You wake up in the morning, you're happy, you're thankful, and you're grateful that you have a job. But when you reach your destination to the job, you're like, this is where your stress comes in, your tension comes in, and you haven't even completed the hours that you need to work today. Excuse me, for that day. So stop pretending. Make a change. Do something new. Step out and do something new. What it is, what is it that makes you happy? Stop pretending on that job. When it comes to relationship with family and friends, stop pretending. If they aren't enhancing you or making you grow or helping you to grow in any way, leave them alone. Stop pretending. You can't change anyone. You can only work on yourself. When it comes to your marriage, excuse me, now don't get me wrong. I'm not telling anyone to go out here and get a divorce. I'm not telling you to separate. But what I am asking you to do is to simply evaluate your marriage. What are you pretending with in your marriage? Are you pretending to be happy? Are you pretending that things will get better when you see no sign of change for that person? Are you pretending that things will get better because you keep being quiet? Hmm, stop pretending. Now, what I will say in marriages, it takes two. You have to. First off, you have to seek God. You have to pray. And you have to seek counsel. Whether that is marriage counseling, family counseling, or individual counseling. Because in all things, we do need to seek counsel. So again, I'm not saying go out here and divorce your spouse. I'm not saying leave your spouse just because things get hard. Yes, times will be hard and there will be trials and tribulations, but we do have to stick together and pray about them. But in the end, if there are things where you are unequally yoked in your marriage and you know you are unequally yoked, stop pretending. As parents with our children, we definitely have to stop pretending. This is an area that I myself, had to wake up and realize we can't make the world better for our children. We can't bear their pain. We can't stop them from getting hurt. The only thing we can do is pray for our children, give them back to God, and put them in his hands. Yes, we do want to make things better for them. Yes, we do want to catch them when before they fall. Yes, we do want to stop that hurt. No, we don't want them to go through anything, but how will they grow? How will they learn? As parents, we have to stop pretending that we are their savior because we are not their savior. 
Their Savior is Jesus Christ. So let's stop pretending as parents, thinking that we can do everything for them. Because we can't. We can't. We can only love them, nurture them, and pray for them. And be there for them as they need us. Now, when it comes to yourself, stop pretending. Stop pretending when it comes to yourself. If you've gained weight, change it. Stop pretending that you're happy. If you are happy with where you are, own it. Live it. If you're not happy with the way your hair looks, cut it. Enhance it in whatever way you want to. Do whatever you need to do to enhance your self-esteem and your self-confidence. But stop pretending with yourself. We need to look in the mirror, do a self-evaluation, and stop pretending. So I challenge you today. On this day of Black Friday, it's the day of stop pretending.